I can't get motivated. Yeah, I know. I got it. I hear that all the time. We'll talk about that in just a second. Hey, I'm Andrew. Top fitness strategies. I am the face who runs the place. Thanks for being here. Look better, feel better, gain some confidence. That's what top fitness strategies is all about, especially for the over 50 crowd. Okay, you got it? Hey, if you're here for the first time, thanks for being here. Check this out over here. Health and Fitness 101 Q&A, Simple Answers to Complex Questions. That is a book that I have and is based on a question and answer type series, column series I do in my local newspaper. And it is not available online anywhere. So I took the best of, so to speak, and I put it together in a compilation for you. So check it out. Health and Fitness 101, Simple Answers to Complex Questions. Link is in the description. Go from there. All right. Now on to the main event. Here's what we're going to talk about today. Motivation. That's right. Motivation. You've heard me say quite a bit, and I'm still sticking to this, that I, as a personal trainer or any personal trainer on this planet, I cannot motivate you to get your butt off the couch. Can't do it. Nobody can. Only you can do it. Okay? So keep that in mind. But Andrew... I don't know how to motivate myself. You're right. You probably don't, especially if you're saying that. So my first thing to tell you, if you're telling yourself you don't know how to motivate yourself, is quit saying that. Because you're telling yourself that, and it's a psychological, subconscious thing. If you're telling yourself that, your body and your subconscious is going to listen to it, and you'll never get motivated. So let me give you a couple of things to do to get motivated that interests you at all, okay? Number one, get up off the couch. Duh, yeah, well, you'd be surprised how many people don't do that. And there's a part two to that. Get up off the couch and start doing something. That's right. I'm not talking a full-blown workout. I'm not talking a three, four-hour gym, heavyweight, sweat fest type workout. I'm talking... Get up and do something. If it's going for a walk around the block, great. If you live in an apartment building, walk up and down the stairs. If you don't want to walk all the flights, do a couple of flights. Do something that's going to get you moving. Get your muscles engaging in something. Get your blood flowing. Get your heart rate elevated a little more than what it currently is. I'm not, once again, I'm not talking a full blown workout. I'm talking basic stuff. If you're already working out and say, you know, Andrew, I just can't get, get motivated to do more. Great. No one's asking to get motivated to, to do more. Just start doing more. Someone told me this a long time ago and it didn't resonate with me until several years later, but I'm going to tell you the secret. You know how to do more in your workout is to start doing more in your workout. That's right. Think about that for a little bit. You start doing more than what you're used to, right away you're not going to like it. Your body's going to say, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Hey, that's not what we're used to. You're doing something weird. You're right, doing something weird, but do it anyway. Your mind is a powerful thing. You know how I just told you that if you tell yourself you can't get motivated, your body will start listening to it because your subconscious mind will take over? Same thing if you start doing something and just do it. Whether you can do it, or not do it, or what have you, go for it. Do more than what you're currently doing. If you're going for a walk around the block every day, go for a walk around the block twice, or go go walk around two blocks, or something to do a little more. If you're working out for a half hour a day, work out for 40 minutes a day, 45 minutes a day. Make yourself do a little more. That's right, make yourself do a little more. One of the best forms of motivation I can tell you, if you want something to look at and say, okay, I know I can't get motivated because you already told me yourself, you told yourself that when I told you not to tell yourself that, but you know what I'm talking about there. Look yourself in the mirror. I'm, and, and not the mirror you usually look at because for whatever reason, the mind plays tricks on you and you look at the mirror you usually look at. And guess what? You're going to look the same, but you go to a different mirror. You go to, uh, um, whether your clothes are on or off, it's irrelevant. Go to a different mirror and look at yourself. You're like, whoa, look at that. That looked completely different. 
you don't believe me? Go to a place where you're walking down the street or something that has a big window in the front where you can see a reflection in there. Does your reflection look different to you there than it does at your home mirror? I can promise you it does. I've had this experiment with several people, and every time they're saying, wow, I never looked at it that way. It looks different to me that way. And I first saw that uh, a long time ago with my vehicle. I would clean my vehicle. In, I'm not a car guy, but I like a, a nice, clean vehicle on the outside. I would clean it, and I think it would be spotless. I'm looking at it with a naked eye, and I'll walk around. Okay, it looks okay. All of a sudden, I'll be driving down the road and go to a place that has a great big mirror, a great big window in the front, I should say. And all of a sudden, I can see I missed a spot. I missed a few things. That doesn't look right. Something's off there, so I have to get out and look and, and do it that way. So, yeah, if you look at it, look at yourself in a different setting than you usually do, guess what? You're going to see different things. So keep that in mind as well. Now, somebody else once told me a long time ago, and this makes a lot of sense as well, is a great motivation for that guy, and also for me, is then take a picture of yourself and put it somewhere where you're going to see it every day. It doesn't have to mean everybody's going to see it every day. Put it someplace where you're going to see yourself every day. Um, if, uh, take it with as, as little clothing as possible, and so you can see what's underneath the clothing. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will, honestly. Because if you look really bad, guess what? You're going to want to be, it's going to, it, it should motivate you to do something about the way you look and to change the way you look. If you look really good, guess what? It's going to make you in a position like, hey, I look this good. I can even look better. That's right. One of those things. So that's a great form of motivation. So two easy things to do is take a picture of yourself, put it somewhere where you're going to see it on a daily basis and look at it and ask yourself, have I done anything to improve myself from this picture? All right. And number two is whether you feel like it or not, do it. Just get up and do it. Do more. Just always do more. If you get into a plateau type thing, do more or do something different. Or is it something differently? Uh, whatever the proper English is there. You know what I'm talking about. So you, you, you focus on those two things. And I promise you things are going to change if you really want them to change. If you don't want them to change, I, I don't know what to tell you at that point. Most people do want change. That's one of the reasons they're listening to me. Again, top fitness strategies, look better, feel better, gain some confidence. Look better and feel better are number one and two for a reason. Okay? They're there for a reason. Okay. I will leave it there. Again, if you're here for the first time, thank you doing, uh, uh, listening to me. I appreciate it. You know what to do. Whatever place you're watching and or listening to this, please subscribe, give it a like, pass it on, share it, tag it, do whatever you can. Uh, and, and, and I'm asking for a little bit of help from you. Okay. A little bit of share, a little bit of share help. That's right. And also check out, uh, health and fitness 101 Q and a simple answers to complex questions. All right. Check it out topfitnessstrategies.com slash fit101. I will link to it in all the show notes. Okay, I will stop it here. Thanks for, again, listening and or watching whatever platform you're doing it on. You know what to do. Appreciate it. So I'll stop it here. Until next time, get motivated. That's right. Until next time, this is me, Andrew, the face who runs the place. Ciao.